What's good, my beautiful kings and queens? It's I, Winnie Buenzi. I hope that by God's grace, you are doing fantastically well, just like I am. As you can see by my background, it's looking a little bit different. I am back in gloomy London City. However, we stay smiling no matter the weather, and we try to keep our energy levels as positive as possible. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to be discussing about the usual New Year's resolutions and what you should or what you shouldn't be doing in your new year, but rather, I'm going to be talking about something called a happy jar. Now, basically, with a happy jar, I discovered this more or less last year via social media, and the whole concept is that you have a jar if you haven't already worked that out already and you basically write down all the positive stuff that has happened whether it's been in your day in your week you write it on a small piece of paper you write it on a paper rip it up fold it up and you basically fill up your jar on a daily basis all throughout the year some people do do on a daily basis some people do do on a weekly basis i tried my best to do on a daily basis however I'm human, I tend to be quite forgetful, therefore most of the times I did try to do so on a weekly basis. Now basically this is how my jar looks like. You can use any jar that you want, it doesn't matter the price, it doesn't matter what material it is. If you want you can, you know, design it up, jazz it up, you know, put 2018 if you want, make it look cute, make it look fancy. I'm a simple person so I just wanted an empty jar and that was basically it. So I got me my jar and I would just write down notes either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis and then just tear it into little pieces fold it up and put it into this jar now this is basically 2017's one i'm yet to actually empty it out now basically the whole concept with this is that we do tend to forget the positive aspects of our lives and stay fixated on the negative parts of our day or of our year so this basically just helps you to appreciate the little things in life that puts a smile on your face or add blessings to your life or just something that helps you to remember all the positivity that does happen in your life so the whole act, the whole point of this is you fill it fill it fill it up and then by the end of the year you basically go through it you can go through it by yourself and read it or you can team up with somebody else whether it's a loved one or a family friend partner whatever and just go through your notes or maybe if you want to make it fun you can even decide to do this for 2018 with a friend, with a partner, with a loved one, get them a jar and just share with them this idea, this beautiful concept of a happy jar. And at the end of the year, you guys can just read and just remember about small things that you would have forgotten about had you not created this happy jar. Now, as I said, this is 2017's one. So, you know, I basically need to read all of this, clear out my jar and get it popping for 2018 because I'm yet to start writing, you know, my little happy notes for the year so far. But I decided that what I would do for you guys is I would basically open this up and basically read a few of my happy notes. Now, before I do so, I just want to make it clear. It doesn't matter how small, um, the positive aspects within your day was. For example, maybe you got to the counter of your shopping and as you was about to pay, you realized that you left your wallet at home and so maybe somebody paid for you. That's a happy thing, that's a positive thing. So you might wanna write that down and put it into your jar. It could be that maybe you found 10 pound on the floor or while you was waiting for the bus. You know, it doesn't matter how small or how big it is, so long as you know, whatever you write down was a was a positive thing. It was something that made you smile. It was something that made you appreciate life or appreciate people or appreciate things. Feel free to write it down. And it doesn't have to be you write something, you know, one thing per day. You can write multiple things per day. You can write multiple things per week. It all kind of depends on you. I don't really believe that there is a set rule. For me, when I thought, let me jump on this happy jar hype, I just wanted this to be a thing where I would basically read this at the end of the year and remember the positive things that I tend to overlook at the end of the year. You know, when it gets to the end of the year, some people will be like, oh, you know, this year was really so bad. For example, with myself, where I battled depression last year. Had I not created this happy jar, I could have looked back on 2017 as the year that I went through depression rather than all of these beautiful little positive notes and rather than taking on board the fact that I overcame it and I'm now at a positive space mentally. So anyway, 
I'm going to stop talking now and I'm just going to open this up and read a few of what I wrote down for y'all. Look at it. Look at that. Okay, let me just... I don't even know why I'm doing this like it's a raffle. Whoops, some of them are falling out. Let's see what this first one says. Blocked negative men from my life. And I read this on the 14th of October. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. When you write your notes down, it's not compulsory. It's just with some of these, not even all of my notes, I did actually write down the dates. But um, trust that to be the first note. That's that's a real positive thing because I'm not going to lie to you. Guys, I have met some really crap men in my lifetime and blocking negative guys or not entertaining negative guys no more. Mm, it was add, it's going to add extra years to my life. Right. Here's another one. Ooh, I am not a team leader at... I'm not going to say the name, but my last place of work. Basically, what happened with that was I basically had a job a couple months ago that I didn't particularly care for. I just literally got it because I needed to pay my bills. And upon being hired, the manager thought it would be a great idea to just enroll me onto a team leader course. And at the time, to some people, some people will be like, oh, yeah, that's extra money. Like, you should be happy and stuff. But... I didn't give a shit for the job, so I didn't want the extra pressure. So when I discovered that actually upon um, completing the course, everybody else basically completed the course. So essentially I wasn't that special to the manager. I wasn't going to be a team leader. I was over the moon because I just wanted to make my coins and come home and focus on what I actually give a shit about. Um, okay. I'm going to read out like another two. Hopefully you guys get the point. All of my equipment for YouTube has arrived. I was really chuffed about that to be honest. Because you know what? Yeah, this was at a time when I was actually quite broke. But I decided that I was going to buy um, basically a light, a light kit. Is that what you call it? A light kit. So basically... Um, various types of lights to basically help light my video up when I want to film and maybe there's not natural light around. I was really chuffed about that and I also bought a tripod for my camera. I say camera but guys you lot do know that I'm using my S8 to film. I remember I was tweeting about this the other day and people were like what? From day one I've always used my phone to film. Even um, early last year I was using my S5 to film. I've got an S8 now so this is what I use. I literally believe that if you want to do something like how I wanted to create a YouTube channel, you basically start off by using what you already have. And I have a mobile phone, so why not? Maybe in due time I will upgrade to a fancy camera. But the, for the meantime, I'm using my S8. <laughs> I'm going to like this is some type of raffle, like you're going to win something. <laughs> okay. Rebranded my YouTube and blog. Locks and life is now the focus. Guys, you get my point. That might seem like something very small to somebody else, but for me, it was a very significant thing because it was like when I first jumped on YouTube, I had no idea what direction I wanted to go with it. For those of you that were following me from the get-go, you will understand what I meant. So for me, 2017 was the year where I kind of sat down and I thought to myself, you know what? I don't really want this to just be a hobby because I'm not going to lie. I wasn't really taking this YouTube and blogging thing seriously until maybe a couple months ago. I thought, you know what? Like, I really enjoy doing this. You know, I come from a media background and being able to do this in my spare time is such a blessing. So I had to sit down and think to myself, what do I want my blog and what do I want my channel to be predominantly about? So obviously, I eventually came out with locks and life and the reason why i came up with locks and life is because so many things come under life literally so many things come under life and that's why recently when i was saying that i'm going to add um like natural health when i can to my channel i don't need to now say locks life and natural health because you know what health natural health is life you know 
simple, isn't it? Okay, guys, I'm going to read out one more. I can afford to give my parents contribution money now. And I put a smiley face on that. That was really important to me because, listen, yeah, my YouTube channel is not here for me to front. Like, I'm not rich. I'm not balling or anything like that. But like I said, at some point in last year, I was really, really broke. So obviously when I got a job and I had income coming in, I was very chuffed to be able to basically contribute to the household because I still live with my parents. I ain't even ashamed about that, to be honest. I see a lot of people, you know, trying to slate people on social media like, oh, when you get to a certain age, you know, you shouldn't be living with your parents and yada yada. Why the fuck am I going to rush to leave my parents' house? For what? For what? Where's the rush? There's there's no need for me to rush. Like, I'm, I live at my parents' house. They don't smother me. I have the freedom to do what I want. And obviously naturally when i have money i feel like it is my duty to help to contribute in various ways that i can so i wrote that down because to me that was something that was positive to me and it meant a lot that i was now able to do so so literally y'all basically get the concept of what a happy jar is like i said if you want you can jazz it up you can get like a nice fancy jar you put ribbons on it right 2018 like decorate it and stuff do it up however you wish i'm just such a simple person i cannot be bothered but i totally understand that with some people once you design it and you put effort into it you feel more inclined to actually take it seriously and make sure that you fill it up with positive notes every single time that you can but literally that is what a happy jar is so now that i've told you about a happy jar i would really you know advise for you to give this a try because I feel like it's a way for you to appreciate life more, appreciate your blessings, no matter how small your blessings are. And not only that, it also reminds you that no matter how bad you think your day or your week or your month or your year has been, there's also been a lot of positives that you may be overlooking. So, you know, now I've shared this with y'all, I'm going to go now and I'm going to read all the this by myself like i said you have the option if you want to get a loved one in so that y'all can read it together or maybe your loved one is also doing the same thing as you so you guys can share positivity that's beautiful but i'm gonna read it i'm gonna empty out and then i'm gonna you know start filling it up for the year ahead because i know for a fact 2018 is going to be an incredible year for myself and for you too but yeah until my next video guys i'm gonna love you and leave you but if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe right now because we're going in this year. Like, we are going in. So, please, subscribe. Until my next video, take care. See ya.